what's going on guys so uh today's video is going to be about infinity loader we are going to be showcasing uh how to use it on the latest update which i believe is 0 0.9.1.2 i think i can show you in a second yeah okay so i mean the standard things are all the same you have your account page uh, you guys have a purchase option here uh compiler you can join the discord and uh, check the website and then you have the compiler which you know functions like a regular compiler that you guys have all used before um you know you can code in it and stuff like that you know basic things uh and then you guys should see a purchase button right here not this and library so this is the new feature for infinity order and i think a lot of people really are thankful that something like this came out so Developers will have the ability to post menus that they want into the library. You can also request yours to be added later. Um, and basically, it makes it easier for people to release projects closed source so that nobody can uh, steal your code. Um, a lot of these projects have taken a while to do, and uh, I think you'll like what's in the store right now. There's a pretty decent selection of menus. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a Black Ops 3 menu soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I released a S2 mod menu, basically just a mod menu for World War II, along with a library that I'll have in the description to allow you to focus a little better on how to mod World War II, because it's a little difficult to explain. Uh, and this is just a roller coaster mod, I guess that agreed bog made. So anyway, you'd click configuration. We're gonna do Black Ops two for this. Or actually we'll do Black Ops one. So have it open. In the meantime I'm gonna go to Black Ops One Purple Lake. And I want to play Zombies, so I'm going to select CM and Steam, make sure everything's correct. And then just going to inject really quick, so we'll go to Showcase, Inject Project. And let's start a map. And as you guys can see, I mean, the menu is here. Uh, this menu is going to receive an update in a little while to fix some things that we've noticed. But uh, it's a pretty decent sized menu, and I hope you guys like it. There will be more stuff coming out from Purple Lake later on. But uh, this is basically how you use it. So if you wanted to go to a different menu, you just select the menu that you want and click Inject Project on the game that you wish to inject on. Like Icebreaker. You would select, you know, basically the following there, and then inject, and it should work just fine out of the box. Uh, there are some issues with antiviruses and stuff like that, but you can always join the Discord for support on that topic. So, thank you guys for watching the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy.